right, good afternoon and welcome back to your channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Listen to this, y'all. I was just about to try to fix the squeak in my chair, and I found a card hidden in the chair. Now, you tell me, how did a card get hidden in the chair, in the back of the chair now, back there by where you tighten it up? And it says this, I hid something from you, and I'm afraid to tell you about it. So if somebody's got a secret they're afraid to tell about, and I'm going to tell you right now, I've had one heck of a morning. I had to go to a doctor's appointment, and when I woke up this morning, my bank account had been manipulated. You remember yesterday for Sagittarius, because I'm a Sagittarius, and it said you would have angelic help for something unethical? Well, I sure need all the help I can get because they wiped out my account. It's in the negative now. They're supposed to be getting that fixed. Well, I had some money on a Cash App card, and I had never used the Cash App cards. I didn't even know how to use it, but I said, well, I guess I can figure it out. I got to the gas station, and I was putting gas in my car. I got $30 worth, and they charged me $125, put a $125 hold on it. Well, that left me with $15, and I had to go see the doctor and pay them $20. So, I've had a, that's the kind of morning I've had. So it kind of, everything that always happens to me factors in, okay? And then I go to fix the squeak in my chair and I find this. I hid something from you and I'm afraid to tell you about it. None of this ever happens by accident. I can promise you that. Somebody's got a secret. <laughs> so we're going to do the reading. I don't know how that's going to factor in. I'm going to put it back where it belongs. No, I'm not. Spirit said I'm going to leave it right here. Holy Spirit, can you please lead, guide, and direct me? Can you please give me a message and show me exactly what you need me to see for our highest and greatest good? Block out all negativity from this space. And give me and the protect collective, me and the collective the protection as we try and get a message. Connect us by our spiritual gifts, spirit. All right, so we're looking good energy wise. I don't see anything to be concerned about, but we're going to see how this plays out today, okay? Let's find out who this message is for. I've got a pendulum on somewhere. All right, Spirit, who we got a message for? Who's got a secret? Or who's having a secret kept from them? Somebody's got a secret. This is indicating Virgo. Virgo, this is your message. <laughs> Okie dokie then, Virgo. You got a secret. Alright, Spirit. Whoa. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who've trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So somehow the Lord's Prayer factors into this reading as well. All right, may I have a message from the Instant Magic Oracle book, please? There may be someone or situation that you wish to freeze out of your life. Write the problem or the person's name on a piece of paper and simply put it in the ice container in the freezer. Keep them in there and freeze them out for as long as you need to. How about that? <laughs> wow. So you've got a situation or someone that you want out of your life. Write the person's name or the problem on a piece of paper and put it in the freezer in the ice container and keep them there and freeze them out as long as you need to. I've done this before. <laughs> Y'all, I did go. this I did this years and years ago. <laughs> I, I don't think they're out of that freezer yet. I did it at my mama's house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got going on here, Virgo, because you got a page trying to open here, too. Let's see what it says. 
my ex is trying to call too. Look, it says negative energy must be removed. And this is about taking an old shoe, writing on the bottom of it, what you got out, what negativity you want out, and stomping on it. Put it on your foot, stomp on it. Take the shoe back off, beat it up, slam it around, do whatever you got to do to get your aggressions out, okay? And then take that shoe and get rid of it far, far away from your house. So it sounds like to me you got a lot of negativity going on. And I really feel that because this has been the most stressful day ever. <laughs> I mean, like, I was trying to get my doctor to prescribe me Valium. <laughs> All right, this is very... What virtues are you working on? I told him, I said, I feel like I'm having a pure anxiety attack in your office here. Honesty and contentment. Honesty and contentment. With gratitude and gentleness. Beautiful. All right, so somebody's got to get honest. Remember, they have a secret. And they have to be content and be grateful. Somebody's got a secret. <laughs> and you have some negativity and a, a someone, it looks like, that you want out of your life and Spirit's telling you how to get rid of them. Freeze them out. And there's another page opening. I'm going to see what it is. It's negative energy. That's what it is. Let me just make sure we don't have any here. Holy Spirit, may we please have your help today. Holy Spirit, get rid of all negativity, please. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Got to go. The ex was trying to call, you know. <laughs> After I checked the energy, then the ex tried to call. Me and him get along fine, though. So I don't know what that's all about. We'll talk to him later. Okay, Spirit. What do we want to do next? What do we need to do next? I think we need to find out more about what's going on here. What's the tea today, Spirit? Somebody's got a secret. How did this happen to the collector? Somebody feels like a victim. And they're locked down. Look. Maybe you got arrested. Somebody could be in jail. Somebody's locked up and they're feeling like a victim. That's how this happened. All right, what's being hidden? This is what we need to know. That somebody's being blocked. They have to make some choices about revenge because of being ignored and about something with, with, to do with money. Wow. I mean, like, they ain't speaking to you at all, and you're trying to figure out how to get back at them about some money. They, they locked you out of their life somehow. They might have locked you out of the house. It won't let you back in. All right, what's being shown? That somebody is coming in with a message that they have a hidden agenda and there's a mystery. All right, what's going to happen next? Oh, somebody's going to be a player. A player. Deception. A beautiful liar. So, Spirit's telling you already that there's somebody coming in with a hidden agenda and a mystery. They're coming to talk to you, and they're seeking. They're looking for something. Clarify this player, this beautiful liar. And he's not all that beautiful to me. Spirit said it has to do with a date night and a surprise. A twist of fate. It has to do with a date. Somebody's lying about a date. <laughs> and they might be a workaholic. All right, Spirit. Let's get some tarot. Spirit said use the black deck. Somebody might be into fur minks or sphinxes or some of them what do you call them things ferrets all right spirit how did this happen to the collective whoa the magician in reverse <laughs> i mean hey ho hey ho we got deception in the house you're about to lose your patience you're trying to hold it together all right what's being hidden that there's no hope <laughs> Why are you hiding this? There's no hope. And what's being shown is that somebody is not using their intuition at all. Everything's coming out in reverse. <laughs> somebody thinks that there's hope, but there's not. <laughs> That's What's being hidden is that there's no hope. Like, somebody still thinks there's hope, but there's not. All right, what's going to happen next, Spirit? Oh, somebody is up to no good today, y'all, in the collective. Y'all done been through something. 
Y'all done been through something and didn't even invite me to the party. Whoop. Strength and results. <laughs> Weakness. And look, there we got the hermit on the bottom of the deck, upright. The only thing upright in this whole reading is that hermit. <laughs> so somebody's got to get somewhere still and think about what happened. That's, what's, that's, that's what you don't see coming. Is that you're about to have to think real deep about this. I don't know what is going on here, but somebody's being manipulative as hell. They're blocked. They're trying to figure out how to get revenge. And they're off the hook. They are avoiding you over money they owe you. And they're fixing to come in about a hidden agenda and something unknown that they're not using their intuition about. And it's weak. They're weak. They're a player. They're a beautiful liar. They want to talk to you about a date night, a table for two, and a surprise twist of fate. And they hid something from you, and they're afraid to tell you about it. We already know. <laughs> we already know. I have no idea whose message this is, but somebody has got something going on. All right, Spirit. What do we want to know? There's something going on with somebody's money. Talk to me about this. How did this happen to the collective spirit? How did this happen to Virgo? Somebody was being superficial. <laughs> they were being fake. They were being fake. They were just pretending. All right? They weren't being deep at all. All right, what's well, being hidden? That somebody is very childish, and I see that. All right, what's well, being shown? They're being real childish. That they're repelled. They don't want nothing to do with you. <laughs> what's going to happen next? Somebody's an escapist, they're going to be haunted, and they're void. Wow. And stagnant. And that stage, man, wow. All right. All right. All right, I see we got a problem here, and I'm sorry I haven't been able to oil my chair. <laughs> but I don't know how to get you any guidance on how to fix it. All I see is a big mess here. Best thing I can tell you to do in a situation like this is put this asshole in the freezer and freeze them out of your life. Get rid of them. You don't want somebody like this playing your game, playing games with you. All right, what does the collective need to surrender for how this happened? What part did we play in this? Oh, wow, y'all. Can't even make this shit up. Unhealthy relationships and belief in scarcity. Feeling like there's never enough. Alright. What was being hidden that needs to be. That somebody needs some healing. Some inner peace. And they are pissed off. <laughs> Alright. What's being shown. That somebody has fear. And a fear of intimacy. <laughs> this person's scared of you. Alright. What's going to happen next. They're worried. They're worried y'all. They got worry. And I, I, I bet they do. Spirit says you got to surrender to what is because I guess they done took some money from somebody. That's what it sounds like. Somebody's got away with some money. And somebody else is pissed off. Alright, what kind of healing needs to be get? What does the collective need healing for? For how this happened? Entrapment was trying to come out. Temptation. Alright, what's, what's being hidden? That you, you got a victim consciousness. You need to unleash your creativity. All right, what's being shown? You got to get creative. You're, you're dreaming. You got dreams showing up for what's being shown. You may have dreamed about this before it happened. All right, what's going to happen next, Spirit, that needs healing? You are a phoenix rising. You've got to do some inner child work, and you have to have self-love with um, wild, unleashing that creativity, for real, for real. All right, what spiritual gifts were operating for how this happened? Don't get yourself in trouble now over this. Okay. Feathers and that angel again. There's an angel trying to send you signs through feathers. And somebody was trying to start a, a new project or something new. They were trying to get something off the ground. They were trying to get off of, uh, off of E. They were on empty and they were trying to start something new. There's a lot of numbers here. Five, two, 
and 11, which is 2 again. 5, 2, 2 might be significant. 3, 4, 6, 7, 5. Out of sequence. A lot of stuff's going on here. All right, what's being hidden for spiritual gifts? Whoa. A lot of shit, y'all. Look. There's a house. Abundance. A baby. A tree of life and meditation. That's what's being hidden. And you aligning your chakras. Alright, what's being shown? Somebody's been stealing from somebody's baby mama. What's being shown is that you have loved ones in spirit. You're in this white light and you have protection. And you've got this mirror and these numbers. Mirror and numbers with loved ones in spirit and protection. What's going to happen next for Virgo Spirit? Virgo, you done got yourself in a mess, baby. Spirit says you need to listen to some music. Anything else for Virgo next? You might be gifted in music. You might like to play guitar. Anything else? No, Spirit says. Somebody has a tattoo on their right arm, a little bitty one, and they have a gold bracelet. Beautiful, long, brown, or like sandy blonde hair. Got a black shirt on today. With a V in the front. Very natural looking hairstyle. Very um, unkept, sexy look. Probably have a smoky voice. Play a guitar. We got time. There's time showing up on the bottom of the deck. Alright, so let's just pull a little tarot and see what we come up with here, I guess. We had what? Manipulation down here. I'm trying to find my tarot. There we go. Manipulations first, right out the gate. We see we got a lot of that going on here. And we have hope here. And then we have the high priestess in reverse. And then we had strength in reverse. All right, Phil, what kind of tarot you want to pull on this, sweetheart? Talk to me. Spirit's telling me to use the grunge. <laughs> the grunge tarot. I wonder why we have to use the grunge tarot. Alright, Spirit, why is manipulation here for the collector? This is a new deck of cards, by the way. Oh, okay. Because of the moon, judgment, and temperance in reverse, y'all. This is the grunge tarot. And it looks like this. The grunge. It's like 90s, 80s, 90s music. Uh, Nirvana. Alright, so the moon is here. It looks like some of y'all might have been partying together. Could have been on the roof of somebody's house somehow. You, but you, somebody plays a guitar. And you're critiquing what happened during this party of y'all. There was maybe six people involved here. And somebody's done lost their patience. They are, they're trying... Leonard Cohen, for some reason, I see that, and it's like, I, all I got to do is waste my time. Somebody has some real funky sunglasses, blonde hair, earth angel, red boots, black pants, striped socks, mirror glasses. It's like, I got to control myself here, but I'm, I'm angry. Because I know what's been, I know what they did here, and I'm angry. Why is the star here? Your Sagittarius is here, um, Libra's here, and Cancer's here. The star is here because of y'all. I cannot make this shit up because somebody stole money from this Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles like a puppet on a string? She controls everything. This woman controls the money. And look, somebody was being foolish with knives, too. Y'all could have got real wild. Somebody's got a long beard. You could have, like, recently been using some kind of knives and throwing them at a dark thing, like a bullseye. Somebody has a striped shirt, brown or black and orange, blue jeans, boots. This woman right here controls everything. And there's been some kind of dishonesty. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Virgo, that's you. <laughs> that's you. Why is the high priestess in reverse? 
because of the hierophant. Money done called the law. <laughs> this is a high level of commitment. This person has power over here that's not using their intuition. They're not using their intuition about the hierophant. Clarify the hierophant. This could be about like a marriage, a relationship. Some uh, 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 the hierophant is like a contract. Clarify that hierophant for me, please. Good strong answers only, please, from the grunge deck. Death. Scorpio's here. Damn. Somebody could have died. Or they're afraid you're going to die. Like, this person is partying way too much. Look at them. Look at them. Like, you might have to have this person institutionalized. Look how they party. They done got picked up and carried out. Wow. There's a lot of partying going on with somebody. This major arcana is over here for what's being shown. Somebody is in a higher level commitment that's being transformed somehow. I don't, I'm not sure I understand that. Why is strength here? We're going to clarify it further. Strength is here. Oh, oh, God. Remember the guy that was coming at you to ask you about the date? Because he's a knight of cups trying to get ten pinnacles. <laughs> like, he is a knight of cups. This could literally be a teenager. And they somebody plays guitar. And, like, they want to have ten pinnacles with you. But they are not ready for a relationship. But somehow or another, something's being transformed over here. That's what I'm not sure about. And the four of wands. Well, this is about a very high level relationship. But somebody's acting full. Clarify death here and the hierophant. What are you talking about, spirit? The high priestess came out upright, y'all. Yes. Yes. I think this is, let's see what's going on here. And then we got the tower. There's about to be a tower. I, I'm, I gotta get more on this. What would this person say to, to what would this person um, <clears throat> that's going through this transformation say to the collective spirit? I keep being drawn back to you and I can't quite explain why. Alright, what else? They flipped all the way over. Oh, no, they didn't. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. In the very near future. And I'm distracted right now. I see you are. You've got all kinds of stuff going on. Feeling trapped pushes me away. Please give me some space. What would we? What would the collective say to them? I need you within a year or more. So something's going to happen within a year or more and they need you. I want to get away from the burdens I have to deal with, but I'm stuck right now. I want to know about this secret. I think we see what's going on here, though, with the secret. Talk to me about this secret. Why is this secret being held? Because of somebody disconnecting and refusing an offer and being apathetic, bored, discontent. All right. What does that have to do with a secret? They, they're they also defensive. Alright, what else? Cold as ice came out. In reverse. Somebody's, somebody's bored, defensive, and they're, they're uh, warming up to you. Clarify what you mean here. It has to do with judgment and a three of swords. So it has to do with this heartache. They don't want to have this heartache anymore. It's like they're bored, but they're defensive. Or they're, they're, they're coming back from, like, this person may not have wanted to take love from you. And they were real defensive. And they're finally thawing out. Because they're finally starting to see that they're breaking somebody's heart. What are they going to do next, Spirit? The Two of Swords came out with the Page of Swords. That's spying, gossiping, and coming out of denial. Clarify what you mean.
the eight of wands is here sideways. So it's like this sudden rush. They're finally going to be, they, they've been stuck in this darkness. And it has to do with work. Clarify Eight of Pentacles. Clarify Eight of Pentacles, please. The Ten of Wands. The Chariot in Reverse. The Ten of Wands and the Chariot in Reverse, both with this Empress. So this is about a feminine who's been through some shit now. And somebody's keeping you stuck. Something or someone is keeping you stuck. And it has to do with work. And a date. I'm not sure what to make of that. Spirit, what is going on here, sweetheart? I don't even know that I can tell. I mean, I see, but I'm missing something. How did this happen? Because of somebody having a new beginning, being strong, traveling, a friendship, and a commitment. Alright, what was being hidden? Again, y'all. Animals again. Compassion again and inspiration. Alright. That's what's being hidden. What's being shown? That you're protected again. What's going to happen next? You're going to be empowered, you're going to have good luck, you're talented, and you're a divine feminine. Could have a, be having a baby. You're going to have more confidence. Alright, let's see what comes out of here. Alright, Spirit, how did this happen? Whoa. You need to speak up. Look forward and build on solid ground. Something you need to speak up about. Alright, what's being hidden? That you have vulnerabilities and you need to trust. You don't have a trust in divine plans. And you're not admitting your vulnerabilities. That's what you're hiding. Vulnerabilities and that you don't trust that you have a divine plan. What's being shown? Whoa. Oh, wow. That you need to be true to yourself. Imagine solutions. Nurture yourself. Correct your mistakes. Accept disappointments gracefully. Be patient and strengthen your gifts. You face your shadow. What's going to happen next? You're going to tune out distractions. You remember somebody was distracted and be of service. I'm just going to imagine that somebody knows what's going on here because I'm not really sure I'm getting it all, but if somebody took took some money or tried to. All right, Spirit, uh, can I get some guidance, please, for this individual Virgo? Guidance for Virgo, Spirit. That Empress energy is you. How can I surrender even more in this moment? It is essential to have clear, strong intentions of what we desire. But it's equally important for us to detach from the outcome. It's time to surrender. Let the universe have some breathing room to work. Let go of the wheel and trust so deeply that the trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot see yet, but you know is coming. Today's soul action. Know this so deeply that your soul vibrates. You are not alone. Your life has purpose, and the more you surrender, the more God can produce miracles in your life. Today's mantra. I surrender and I accept all that I cannot change. I release the outcome and I joyfully trust the process. With, does my life have room for more pleasure and play? In what areas are you lacking pleasure right now? Maybe in certain relationships or with work. Is it possible to shift the seriousness of life to experiencing a more creative, wild, and playful side of you? Today's soul action. What would happen if you added more play and laughter into your life? What area is lacking this right now? Take time to play and let go of any need to produce anything. Somebody was being very controlling. It looked like you, Virgo, over here. Because somebody was deceiving you about money. And so you saw what was going on. 
You saw what was going on. Clarify the tower on the bottom of that deck. Look, clarified by the tower, y'all. The Knight of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups in reverse, and the tower. The tower is clarified by another tower, and it's about somebody coming in real fast to show unconditional love because they're very disappointed. Why are they disappointed, Spirit? Because somebody's been juggling and making plans with this Queen of Wands right here that's in reverse. <laughs> because they were making plans with somebody else. This could be a uh, Leo or an Aries. It could be any fire sign with the tower. They were making plans with another person. And there's a wheel. What are they going to do next, Spirit? What are they planning on doing next? Getting some rest. Healing. They're, we're going to withdraw and be alone. They're withdrawing from love. What should the collective do, Spirit? Stop reevaluating this. Somebody got ghosted. Or they need to be ghosted because they're manipulative. And there's no hope. Spirit says that this person is a manipulator. Stop reevaluating this person. They are going after somebody else. <clears throat> Anything else, Spirit, before I close this message? Because I don't think it's going to get any better today, folks. Somebody's in a bad headspace. Spirit, what else do you want to do here? I'm going to give you one of these. All right, message for whoever needs it. Be there for you. <laughs> be there for you. Do I even need to read that to you? It's time to be there for yourself because this person right here, they are real, real screwed up right now. And they need help themselves. They can't help anybody else. Be there for you. It's time to let yourself off the hook. Don't interpret the behavior of other people or circumstances outside of your control to indicate something negative about you. Forgive yourself for anything that you feel you have done wrong. You can learn from your choices more easily if you stop punishing yourself whenever you feel that you've made a mistake. Even the decisions that we regret can help us grow to be wiser when we swap judgment for compassion. Sometimes we can only learn what we need to know from what doesn't work out so well at the time. Forgive yourself, have your own back, and be good to you. All right, Spirit, talk to me about who you are talking to here, honey. D? It was DD, and then it switched over to JF. I don't know. H L U O Y. W F D S Q F E. So two F's that time. F W A K D D A. So we had A A and D D. L O J K Q H T. P X O G F N K. Trinkets, please, Holy Spirit. Man, I have trinkets for Virgos. What would you say, Virgo, out of these trinkets? Wow, Virgo. I got a piece of black tourmaline. Remember, Spirit kept saying you were protected. Always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. I have, um,. It's this thing with a, a star that says success, success, success. Make a wish, make a wish, make a wish. There's this hand for intuition and protection. I have a heart that says the love between a mother and daughter is forever. I have an elephant. I have a fox because somebody is being sneaky as F. I have a unicorn. I have an elephant. I have a whale tail. I have the word love. I have a heart that says uncle. I have a rose. Hi, Rose. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. A bicycle. A crescent moon. 
with a star, Mayan calendar, an elephant, a little kid, a little kid with a ball cap, another little kid, there's children involved here, a star, a tree of life or a family tree, a fancy heart with an angel holding it together, an archway, a piece of crystal, an apple for temptation. Find joy in the journey. Remember you were tempted. A skeleton key. A snowflake. No two snowflakes are alike. I guess. That's what they say anyway. A pelican. A flamingo rather. A seahorse. They make for life. Another little kid y'all. There's a lot of kids. There's three kids that can <coughs> Oh, and a precious angel. Oh, my goodness. Then I have an owl, a turtle, a star, a magnet, the word love, a shell. Maybe your name is shell. A butterfly, another shell with a starfish, the word forever. Another rose. Somebody's name is Rose. I have a pumpkin. I have... A bonefish, another angel, and friends forever. Friends forever. Remember, there was a friendship here. All right, can I have trinkets, please? I was just full Holy Spirit. Money was partying too much and done something with somebody's money. All right, I have a crescent moon with a fairy about them hidden animals. The love between a grandmother and granddaughter is forever. A rocking horse for a baby. Look, there's another rocking horse. Somebody's got the children. And I have a, a, a gear. Somebody might be a mechanic or it might be a metalhead. I have a horse. I have a maple leaf. I have an Eiffel Tower. I have an arrow. I have a lot of feathers because somebody's spirits, angels are trying to give them a message to feathers. The word love inside of a heart. Another tower. A prick or a cactus, an anchor, a compass, a sailboat. Somebody loves the ocean. You might live at the beach. I have a music note with a skull. Oh, baby. I have a military thing. I have an infinity sign. No matter where, live your dream. Live your dream. An elephant with a heart on its trunk. An angel and a dollar sign for that money that somebody was trying to get in their hands on. Alright, let me know if this resonated. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Let me know. Comment. Whatever you want to do. And I'll be back soon with another reading. Bye, Virgo. Have a great day.